This program is a paid commercial announcement and in no way represents the views of WPHT or its management. Talk Radio 1210 WPHT, WPHT HD, WOGL HD3, Philadelphia. Now, Health Watch, featuring Dr. Molly Fantasia, the PhD doctor and founder of Innovative Medical Associates, with valuable information that could help you improve your quality of life. Now, Health Watch, and your host, John Damasi. What's that saying you're going to hear for a while now? Is it hot enough for you? <laughs> Yeah, all right. Well, yeah, I guess so. I mean, th- does it get any hotter than this? Yeah, in July. But listen, we'll get through it, as we always do. Health Watch is the show. Dr. Molly Fantasia is here, as the man said, and I'm your host, John DeMassey. Good to have you with us, as always. Our Sunday morning get-together, we call it Health Watch, and we talk about health here on the program. I guess you kind of figure that from the title, and we do it with Dr. Molly Fantasia. She is the Ph.D. doctor and the executive director and the founder of Innovative Medical Associates located in Marlton, New Jersey. And as always, when we're here live on the program, if you have a question for Dr. Molly or a health challenge, 855-839-1210 is the number, 855-839-1210. At any time during the course of the program, if you have a question, a medical challenge, or a thought for Dr. Molly, feel free to call in at 855-839-1210. Got to protect yourself today, Dr. Molly, right? Hey, listen, what should everybody be hydrated today? That's right. Okay, hydrated. And also, making sure they get your sun protection products. Oh, you're so kind, John. Thank you. <laughs> which Thank I you. have. Oh, All good. Right? And, and which I'm wearing I'm right now. I'm glad you are, so because I'm wearing it too for right. my walk today. Exactly Absolutely. right. So if you're out in the sun, you get got to get Dr. Molly's uh, sun protection product, which we'll talk about later on in the show. 855-839-1210 is our number here. As always, we like to start the show by explaining Innovative Medical, what it is, how it's different, and how it can potentially help people. So yeah. let's get started there. <laughs> you know, John, do we ever tire of this introduction? No. No, no. Because people always come in, and this week was no exception. How do we, What is Innovative Medical Associates? Well, it is a cooperative of like-minded uh, practitioners. And we all work out of my facility, which is a licensed primary care facility. And what that means is we can do anything a normal primary care facility can do. Um, We can order a prescription if you need it, order radiology if you need it, x-rays, MRIs, whatever. And whatever the docs deem necessary. And uh, but but we have a different philosophy. We have a philosophy for a more natural approach. In other words, yes, if you have hypertension and you need hypertensive medication, we want to make sure you're taking it, taking it correctly. But if we can help you reduce any one of multiple medications or reduce dosing on a particular medication, thereby eliminating your side effects. And in some cases, maybe eliminating the well, medication. Well, actually, this it, week we had a case where I actually have a patient down three-fourths on, I don't, but let me rephrase it. We actually have a patient down three-fourths on their medication for their hypertension, uh, for hypertension. And we're doing it by adding something natural, a vitamin and an amino acid that helps reduce the blood pressure. You know, it's interesting, sitting in in the chair the other day, a new patient was in the chair right Right. next to me, and she said, this is always, this is how it goes all the time. How long have you been coming here? I said, 20 years. Yeah, I know. 20 years? Uh, What's in your bag? I said, I have no idea, but I'm sure Dr. Molly has a formula based on all of my conditions. Oh, okay. Do they tell you what's in there? Well, if I asked them, they yeah, would. of course. Of course. <laughs> so, of course I'll tell you what's in there. Question, you know, yeah. here's the thing. Yeah. People are very confused when I say we have a proprietary blend. That's not unusual, John. Look at all the proprietary blends on your uh, natural health uh counters in the pharmacies yes everything is a proprietary blend well that's true for us too because what we can't do is we can't prioritize or trademark the particular nutraceuticals because they're god-given but we can definitely talk about prioritizing the blend and that makes a difference it's the synergy of putting things together that helps so you don't exactly in other words you can say you have some of this some of that some of this but what you have the amounts 
Right, and like how your, we're given right. them. Right, it's no, your recipe, right. basically. The recipe's like Coke. You can't get Coke's recipe, that's right. can you? No. You can just enjoy the flavor. That's right. So that's where we're at. But but all of that's secondary. I mean, we will write it out for people if they were not for the free consult. Oh, let's let's because I've had that too, John. They want to leave with the, what we're getting in the bag on the free consult. No. I will give you an overview, but then again, I need to get more specific. I mean, the free, you know, the free consult is just the appetizer. Exactly. Right. Right. And and when you actually come in, then we'll talk right 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 on, John. So you got it. Yeah. If you start, and we always ask this question because people ask this in every consultation. All right. So how long am I coming here? How many treatments do I get? And how long till I get results or I see results? You know. My one of my favorite patients who calls in here all the time, John, he says to me, you realize three years I'm coming to you and I was doing really well. And then all of a sudden this mucus situation started again. Well, okay, I get that because what happens is that's very good information for me because what I did was I went in the back and I gave Linda a new recipe for him because it's like medication, John. What do you think happens? Does the doctor ever change your hypertensive meds? Of course he does. Of course he does, because the body has a beautiful ability to get used to it. And therefore, discount. Maybe the doses has to change. Maybe we have to add a little something. And that's true for what we do as well. So the same thing happens with natural products. Absolutely. You can't say, oh, it works every single time. Therapeutic levels change. They can change from environmental issues. They can change from stress, John. When you're in stress, what do you think? You have hypermetabolics going on, right? Yes. Well, you might need a little more of something. That's why I talk to everybody when they're in the chair. So how many, uh, and you were talking yeah. about one of the patients, three years, kind of what's the, is there a norm? Or well, it, we can start to effectuate the change in as little as five weeks. Okay. But then, you know, one of the things I know for sure, one of my doctor patients, she's an actual MD, pediatrician, she said to me, you know, Dr. Molly, I know when I need to come back. I said, I told you, Dr. Naomi, you would. And she said, you were right. She said, I started feeling it. And her husband was sitting in the chair as well for him. He goes, yeah, you be sure she was pretty fatigued the last few days. But he said, I know you got it under control. I said, sure, we want to have quality. So if your quality of life starts to dwindle a little bit you know you got to come back in you know i've often said the same thing to you remember i've, oh, I've yeah. said to you a few times i yeah. said if i go on vacation and i miss a week right or, or, or two or, or two but I, right. i've never missed more than oh, 10 days i think that's true yes yeah. so right. you you feel a little different exactly but also i have people that could go as long as two months and not come in i've had that. don't you think that's age dependent and how early they get in with the initial problem and also the severity of the problem, right? right? Exactly, exactly. So, what's what's a, a like a tough case for you as far right as- now? I have a very tough ga- case with the scleroderma patient. Very tough because you know we talk about mind body. The depression is such that she's come into this saying that there's no hope, and you know what? That's you know that's my stock and trade hope. I want to give patients hope and I can show them other data to show that it can be, you can have certain breakthroughs. You may not be able to run the marathon that we saw this week, but you can certainly have a quality of life. And over the years, uh, if you had to sit with someone and talk about a lot of the cases that you've had success with yes. that appeared to be hopeless, you'd have a lot of cases you'd Absolutely. Talk about. And that's why I'm mentioning this case, because I'm taking it so Uh, badly because I believe that you know God gives us hope in every condition and certainly I've seen this in our cancer supportive care I've seen this in our chronic conditions I've seen it with people who come to me with chronic fatigue many many times when they were told it's in their head one thing I can say about Dr. Molly, the mind's always going. I, I can see you even in the office. You're, you're thinking and, and reviewing and thinking. Well, I, that's why I like to talk to my patients. That's one of the reasons why I like how we set this up. One of the ways we are different than most primary care facilities is we get to see you on a more often a basis. And guess what? We then, I also take the advice of my nurses. You know, nurses are trained to observe. Yes. Right? Yes. Well, guess what? They tell me, you know, somebody doesn't seem to be quite right. I said, well, let me let me go out and see them a little more than I usually do. Okay, we have more to talk about here on the show. It's our first break of the morning. It's Health Watch, Sundays 8 till 9. 
Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. Dr. Molly Fantasia is here. She is the PhD doctor and executive director and founder of Innovative Medical Associates located in Marlton, New Jersey. Got a question for Dr. Molly. We always tell you at this point in the show, you know, you call early. We have plenty of time to talk to you. And uh, many times we get calls at uh, two minutes before nine. And that's a little difficult to get into with you at that point. So call early, 855-839-1210 with Dr. Molly Fantasia. I'm John DeMassey. We return more Health Watch after these words. Innovative Medical Associates, where operators are standing by right now at 856-489-0505, 856-489-0505. That's the number you want to call and set up an appointment. The initial consultation with Dr. Molly is complimentary. All you have to do is call. You can call now or you can call after 9 o'clock or you can call during the week, but call 856 856- Four eight nine zero five zero five, and the website innovative medical associates dot com, innovative medical associates dot com. A lot of good information on there, including information about Dr. Molly's line of skincare products, which I use faithfully. I look at your face every morning, Dr. Molly. It's right there on the. <laughs> One of my other patients said, "I think I shower with you, Dr. Molly." I said, "Whoa!" So, there it is. There's, there it your, is. there's your picture right I there, know, right, know. right next to the toothbrush. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> you have a good place. You know right? what, hey, John? I, I, you know, listen. The, the, uh, the, the label design was out of my hands. Okay. All right. <laughs> Eight five five eight three nine twelve ten. I know you wanted to talk about this, and we're laughing because uh, uh, here we go again. Another disease of the month. Right. This is the dis- monkeypox. Right. Uh, monkeypox. Everywhere I turned around this week, monkeypox. And you know, guys, listen. What is it? It's a virus, right? Yes. It's a virus. So, what would we do to help you with this? First of all, I don't even know how the heck it got in here, right? Monkeypox wasn't even seen in areas. Uh, other than in the African uh, area, in Africa, period. Right. Now, all of a sudden, it's here, it's in Italy, it's in Germany, it's in Switzerland. What What is going on in the world? But I can tell you this. Rest assured, our patients, if we continue to do what to your immune system, John, you know the answer. Boost the immune system. You boost up your own immune system. We can put monkeypox where we should be putting uh, COVID, okay, away and forgetting about it, except that we must follow good hygiene, the same kinds of things yes. that we said we would do through COVID. All of a sudden, monkeypox is the new fear among all of us. And I have to tell you, John, every time I turn around, the the media is making this sound like a pandemic. It really does. Even though they tell you, they, they give you the disclaimer, oh, we really don't have to worry about it too much. Well, hell. well, then why did you bring it up? Why basically? did we bring it up? So that's one of the things I want to say. Listen, folks, continue to take your vitamins, continue to get your hydration therapy, continue to follow good basic hygiene, and let's put monkeypox away where it belongs in the zoo. You're right. It's the it's the disease of the month or disease. Sure. Of the year. Yeah, yeah. Right. It, it, it's just. It, it's amazing to me that all of these co- things come out. And by the way, I got calls on monkeypox last week when it first came out. And I said, I don't even know if my patients had heard about monkeypox. So I started talking about it and I got calls on it at the office. Do we treat monkeypox? Well, (laughs) this is one condition I have not seen in 20 six years john okay so okay? so, so. The, it's, it, it, you know the, the cdc comes out and they say well uh, concerned but but not too concerned well, well you what know does that the, mean? exactly what, what, is what that? does that why mean? don't we just start a stampede of people being in worry i'm more concerned about the stress this kind of thing puts on people exactly. than the condition itself imagine what like the the big systems the calls they got if you got a lot of calls imagine what they were getting i have you know? no idea well maybe they were telling they have the remedy for a monkey fox i don't now, that allegedly there is a vaccine for it. Well, you know, I don't want to go down the road of vaccines again, John. No, but the point that you're making is with everything that you basically talk about is boosting or maintaining your immune system right? so that you're not as vulnerable to, to these, these kind of kinds things. of things. Right. And I would say that's true. And remember, look, these things are out there. That's not the only weird condition that's out there. There's probably a hundred more. But the point is we don't hear about it because... 
at this point, in terms of our clinic, our people are being treated pretty well, and they have immune systems that can resist this kind of thing. And you know who's one of the biggest things I put in there? Vitamin C. That's right. That's right. All right, 855-839-1210 is the number here in the studio. If you have a question for Dr. Molly or a medical challenge, you want to run by her, 855-839-1210. In the news this week, I heard about this, I think it was on Sunday, and I said, they must have been listening to Dr. Molly. Uh, the Phillies uh, have ah. their, their their famous player, Bryce Harper. Right. Who, uh, well, he's not exactly poor. His contract is worth $330 million, So, mm-hmm. I mean, he's got to stay healthy. He's their best player. Right. And he got PRP this week. Right. Plasma and, uh, rich, right? And protein. I know you wanted to talk about this. Platelet rich proteins, right. One of the things, it, what are they doing? They're delivering growth factors and progenitor cells to his elbow. Right. But isn't this interesting that he chose that approach rather than surgery? He has a tear, right? Is yes. that what's going yeah, on? that's a tear, And yes. we know that these progenitor cells can absolutely help with certain tears so this was a kind of opportunity that i looked at and i said isn't this interesting one of the things he's avoiding by having this is the scar tissue that tends to develop after surgery if you don't think that scar tissue then gives a player or or anyone some pain and also can also impede their ability to play their sport guess again Right. Well, that's the point right. that they they need him in their lineup. Right. And if he would have had the surgery, he's done for the year. So I'm sure he's going to the biggest, the best, and the most expensive place in the world to get it. Well, we have it. So anybody, and by the way, Dr. Pat is excellent, excellent with delivering it to the appropriate spot. She has hands of gold, I like to say. So can you explain what it is? And you can even well, go to the Bryce Harper situation. Sure. I mean, what, plate, what, what is it? Platelet-rich plasma. What it is is we actually draw the patient's own blood. We have a very special centrifuge that makes so many RPMs per second. And what that does is it separates the blood in layers. And the layer we're looking for is something called the Buffy coat. The Buffy coat happens to have the blood cells and the platelets that we're looking for, the growth factors and the platelets that we want to deliver back to the patient. And that's what we then take off. So there's a process for this. You come in, you have to have your blood drawn, you have to wait for the centrifuge. By the way, that centrifuge is extremely expensive. So it, we don't use it to spin down people's milkshakes or anything <laughs> like that, right? This is in our uh, special lab and it's done. And you really follow the process. And at that point, we then take off the buffy coat and then deliver it back by injection into the area that's affected and the object is you let that then gel and sort of uh we then in our facility we then actually use a hydration protocol to feed these growth factors and these progenitor cells so that they will grow and start to knit the wound you've done this fairly often many right? many times and what's the kind of can you give us a I general would, overview i would say results it's, it's like 95 percent effective sometimes it isn't because if the patient doesn't have enough of their own platelets then it's no good however we also have a system by which we can deliver that plus progenitor cells that are extracted from cord blood and deliver that directly into the wound and it's actually something we're going to do this week you often talked about this is 21st century medicine yes it is and that's what it is when is it a, a, a time to think about getting that done when you have a like a tear like right. Bryce Harper? Of course, or... a tear. We're, you know we're working on a pilot right now who has an ACL uh, tear in his knee. And he had a full tear, by the way, a complete tear. So we hit him with the progenitor cells. This week we're hitting him with uh, PRP as well. So, um, you, you know, we want to make sure that he gets the growth also that he needs. And we follow this with a course of hydration treatment therapies that then actually feed these seeds and help them to grow. So generally you would think about it with like a tear, an injury. Injuries, right. injuries, yes. And we've also used it for um, 
regeneration in terms of joint pain too we've seen that it can help it's it's a different mechanism it's like using the body's own mechanism to help the synovial fluid come back and that kind of thing in the joints so we've used it for arthritic conditions um, extensively and we've had about a 95 percent success rate but i think a lot of that depends on utilizing the hydration piece of what we do which is pretty unique i wanted to ask you about uh, like the success ratio that you've had it, does it continue in other words do you have to keep coming well, back or how no, does that work no generally generally people can live with this for quite a while but again you know we have to look at environmental issues are they are they exposed to uh, certain toxins do they have comorbidities like viruses i mean there is no john this is like no one size fits all that's true with regenerative medicine too because they're, each patient is an individual, and it's not only dose-dependent, meaning you have to get enough of it in, right, like I talk about with the hydration. Yes. We have to have the reserve. But we have to do we have to look at some of these other factors and how do they contribute to the overall health of the joints or health of the particular problem, and can we, you know, what is the overall health of the patient? If you, you've often said, you know, if you got to get the surgery, you got to get the surgery. Right. But if you can avoid it, and this PRP can help can you, help it. can help well, it. That, uh, that, that's what you can and, consider. And I would say some some of these things with chronic chronic type pain, it can help with. So it's really been used as a, just what it says: regenerative medicine. It's regenerating the tissue. So it is really it's out there. And I will tell you, a cornerstone to this has been what we use in the hydration therapy. The peptides the amino acids that are a shorter chain that's what peptides are and there are so many other things that are used including things like um, the vitamins and the growth factors we've used this all the time in the hydration all right we're coming up on our halfway point of the show which means you still have time to call in if you have a question or a medical challenge you want to run by dr molly 855-839-1210 is the number 855-839-1210. Dr. Molly Fantasia is here, the PhD doctor and the executive director and the founder of Innovative Medical Associates located in Marlton, New Jersey. And I'm your host, John DeMassey. Again, that number, 855-839-1210. We're coming back with more Health Watch after these words. Back here on Health Watch, operators standing by right now at Innovative Medical Associates. And if you really contact them now, you want to make an appointment to sit down with Dr. Molly, 856-489-0505. Remember, you can set that up, and the initial consultation is complimentary. Dr. Molly can explain a lot and also relate it to whatever your particular challenge is. So that's what you want to do, 856-489-0505. You can call now. You can call after 9 o'clock, or you can call tomorrow, whenever, 856-489-0505. The website, InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com, InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com. Check that out. A lot of good information on that as well. Our show is Health Watch, Sundays 8 till 9, Talk Radio 1210, WPHT. Going to go to the phones. Mary is in Mount Holly. Mary, good morning. You're on Health Watch with Dr. Molly. Hi, Mary. Hi, uh, Dr. Molly. I'm 71 years old. That I you're 71 osteo- years young. Young. <laughs> <Go ahead>. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. I have osteopenia in my spine and in my right hip. Yes. Uh, okay. What is what is recommended for that? Just I many things. Many things. So let me ask mm-hmm. you this: You've obviously had the bone density done. How often do you get yeah. that done? Once? A, well, Medicare is now only paying once every two years, right, Mary? It's ridiculous. Every two years. Yeah. Yeah. Re- it. yeah. Good. Okay. So um, osteopenia. I would start. There's a couple of very good supplements out there. Now I can't really tell you the. Um, it's called bone builder. All right. Look it up like that. Bone builder. That's one. Calcium is very, very important. And the other thing, Mary, vitamin D3, very important. Mm -hmm. In our clinic, we use it injectable as well as putting people on the oral. Uh, But we use that extensively. So those are just a few of the things that I would look at. Are you taking anything right now, Mary? D3 faithfully. Good. Is it D3 plus K2? Uh, 
no, it's just B3. Okay. I want you to look for another brand. And again, it's the same brand that I talked about with the blood, uh, the bone builder. It's, um, mm. it's called uh, D3 and uh, K2. Now, how many milligrams of D are you taking as well? Uh, I think it's 8,000. I put one time, I, I, I forget the units of it. Okay, honey. But That's two, all right. I think it's, uh, probably 4,000, 6,000 units. That's good. Okay. Now, mm. in, in our, in our facility, our physicians generally, if people are osteopenic, they're recommending 5,000 units. But again, we're, we're doing that with the D3 and the K2. So I can mm-hmm. tell you, Mary, you're in Mount Holly. You ought to come down and see us because I bet you mm. we can help you with that with a, a certain amount of hydration because we can put some of this uh, bo- a bone building things are in, in your bag, which really gives mm-hmm. you a jump on it. It really does. So um, also, you know, we also believe in coenzyme Q10. So utilizing all of these... Um, it would help. Okay, Mary? You sound like a smart lady. God okay. bless you. Okay. Do you take insurance or not? Don't I wish. Okay? No. Unfortunately, okay. we don't. But we'll talk about it. If you come in for the oh. free consult, you're a nice lady. Oh. All right, Mary. God thank you. you. Thanks for the call and good luck with that. You know how many times I get that? Oh, that, yeah. And I you know. know. Don't I, know. I wish I could. 855-839-1210. That's the number. Again, if you have a question or a medical challenge you want to run by Dr. Molly, as Mary just did, 855-839-1210. Environmental medicine, what is that? Well, environmental medicine is is medicine that studies some of the assaults that the environment can actually give on to the body. Um, and I, I've been very interested in environmental medicine for a long time because a lot of my people in the beginning came to me with heavy metal issues, yes, right? Yes. And, of course, we used chelation, which is a, a form of uh, a detox, which means chelation means to claw out. And one of the first things that it was used for back in the day was to uh, claw out lead poisoning, which was an environmental hazard. But I'm seeing more and more of environmental impact on people with the neurodegenerative diseases and the cancers, believe it or not, and many of the autoimmune diseases. You almost can't get away from practicing environmental medicine along with conventional uh, primary care because there's so much overlap, John. One of the things people tell me all the time is, well, I have a genetic uh, propensity to have MS. It was in my genes. Well, there's an old saying in environmental medicine. It says, the genes load the gun, but the environment pulls the trigger. How about that? And that is an interesting thing to say because, yes, you may have dysregulation in your genes, but you can also, as I say all the time, you can overcome that dysregulation but if you are exposed to certain things whether it's in your food we all know the food is adulterated whether it's in the air secondhand smoke those kinds of things uh whether it's in the gasoline engines that are floating around whether it's in recirculating air john these kinds of issues have an impact on our health And so when we have a patient who comes in with a neurodegenerative disease, or for that matter, an autoimmune disease, or even a cancer-supportive kind of thing, we want to look at what type of environmental issues might have also contributed to their assault on their body. So that's where the environmental comes in. Well, you said that with all of the pesticides out there, et cetera, et cetera, that over time, your body gets compromised by that. Exactly. This. And that's the reason why environmental is very important, particularly because what happens is we're exposed to chronic type of, of exposures. You and I grew up in the city. Yes. You don't think we were exposed oh. to chronic? Come on. How about the bus fumes? Right. How about now? I have patients who tell me, listen, there are clusters. We've all heard of this, right, where we've seen clusters of particular areas where lymphomas have developed in New Jersey. And when talking to the patient, I find out that maybe their development was next door to a farm that used pesticides or, in some cases, in some of these areas um, south of where I am, they say they're built up on what used to be uh, landfills. And I find this very interesting because 
patients come in and they may have all of these mysterious type of conditions, not just neurodegenerative, but others where we just don't know what's wrong with them. And then when we run panels that are uh, for the environmental medicine piece, we start to find the dysregulation. Is it a good idea to get hydration as a preventative oh my goodness yes okay and there are many things that we deliver in the hydration that would help with this glutathione being one of them glutathione is very important for the liver detox because things like uh breathing in are uh, the toxic fumes that we were talking about all of this kind of things not just what we ingest but what we breathe in actually has to go through the liver so that these these foreign substances are cleared out the liver is our largest organ to do that um and we can use things like alpha lipoic acid which is something i do glutathione of course nac which you've heard me talk about before vitamin c is a biggie vitamin c uh we also use things like grape seed extract there are so many different types of nutraceuticals can be used for this the question is, what we would like to do is see what the body's burden is along with what brings you into the facility. I wanted to ask you, because people listen to this show and they may write down some of the things you say to get, and then they'll go to the health food store. Oh, uh, here we go again. Here we, right? The, 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 this, is, this is a great question all the time. So can you get that in the health food store? You can, but what are you getting? That's the question. You, you really uh, don't know what it's you're It's exactly right? what I said to Mary. I, I, I have a particular brand that I would recommend to her if she were my patient. Which probably is better than what she's taking. Probably. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to say absolutely, but probably. And here's the thing. Look, you can go to the health food store. You can go now. All the pharmacies in the world are now carrying what wellness products yes okay because it's it's huge they finally got the they finally got the uh light bulb went off and they said oh listen we got to get in that market the question is is it good well look you know and i know we have to find out what the patient's tolerance is you can go and you can get something there for example vitamin c it's like getting one drop in what we give is in the ocean yes we give you the ocean yeah. you go get it at the health food store you're getting one drop right. okay exactly. so the question is what then works and there's another thing how about patients who can't tolerate certain doses of these kinds of things in other words let's say someone can't tolerate a very very high dose of vitamin c can i reduce the dose in their hydration yes can i put something else in there that may also synergistically help their particular problem yes and how do i know that i know that by a, a blood test very simple okay we have uh, we're coming up on our final break in the morning which means we have more to talk about and it also means that you still have time to call in if you have a question or a medical challenge for dr molly 855-839-1210 is our number in the studio, 855-839-1210. Health Watch is the program. Sundays, the live version, 8 till 9, here on Talk Radio 1210, WPHT, 855-839-1210 is the number. With Dr. Molly, I'm John DeMassey. We both come back with more Health Watch after these words. Don't forget, operators standing by right now at Innovative Medical Associates, and they will be there well after we leave you at 9 o'clock. I suggest you call now. While it's on, fresh on your mind, you just call and talk to them. And you want to make that appointment to sit down with Dr. Molly for the initial consultation. You do that, 856-489-0505. That's the number, 856-489-0505. And remember, the website with a lot of good information on it, InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com. InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com is the website. And don't forget, if you miss any of this morning's program, we have our Health Watch replay every Sunday, 4 until 5 p.m. So it's, we like to call it affectionately our sleeper special. If you, <laughs> if you didn't get up till uh, 20 minutes to 9, then you missed the first 40 minutes of the show. So you can check it out again this afternoon, 4 until 5, Health Watch replay here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. Health Watch is the show, and we're going to go to the phones. Guido is in South Jersey. Guido, good morning. You're on Health Watch with Dr. Molly. Hi, Guido. Yes. Hi. Hi, doctor. Good morning. Uh, I wanted to ask, what can someone do to minimize side effects from chemotherapy? You know, the, yeah. um, they, you know they have the, the, uh, they can't eat and the nausea and different things. Sure, sure. 
Sure. Well, there are many things that we have a lot. Guido, I really, that's a great question. Uh, may I ask what type of chemo uh, they're receiving for what type of, of cancer? Well, right now, they're, uh, uh, they're not receiving it yet, but uh, um, mm-hmm. it's on my mind, you know, like the lat- after they start receiving it. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't blame you. You're absolutely right. Listen, there are many, many things, if you're talking about doing that at home, uh, there are many things that are homeopathic in nature that can help with the nausea to start with. The thing I find very interesting about most of the folks who come in to me who are receiving our cancer supportive therapy through the chemo and also through the radiation is not just the nausea, but the brain fog and also, Mm -hmm. right, the brain fog, in which case I would look at some amino acids that might help that, including about ALA, which is alpha-lipoic. I might look at biotin, and again, uh, also certain forms of B12. And we may even want to look at uh, a few other things like NAD or NNAC. But here's the thing, Guido. What we wouldn't want to do is we don't want to give you any nutraceuticals that the oncologist might think that the oncologist might think would interfere with um, the the uh, the therapeutic. So, and believe me, we've we've done a lot of patients through this thing, and we found that we can help improve their stamina, et cetera, and actually keep them pretty well through the chemo. And there are certain ways to deliver the chemo, which they don't talk about here in this area, but there are. I have a consulting oncologist who I run some things by, and actually I have a, uh, a Skype uh, meeting with him tomorrow for a particular patient. So uh, there are ways to help her overall or his overall uh, nutritional status through this. Uh, you're a good uh, person for looking at it. it is, it's something, and the extreme fatigue is also something you want to look at. Okay? Yeah, th- thank you so much. I know, uh, I, have, I know someone who's a patient of yours, and they told me to listen to your show today. Oh. And it was very... Formative. I appreciate it, and uh, uh, and uh, maybe I'll look into calling you. Thank yeah. you again. Come in. Right. Th- yeah, Guido. The, free- the, the initial free- consultation free. is free. Yeah, and so then you we can, can do that. you can yeah. really give me some of the specifics about what's going on and for whom, and that would help. Okay. God bless you. Good luck with that, God Guido, you, and thank you friend. for the call. God bless you. I mean, you've had a, uh, I mean, plethora. plethora, right, of cancer support patients. Who you've helped over the years. Right, right. You know, and again, it's not just the antioxidants, John, which I've got to tell you, you know, what do we hear the most that I hear why we can't do this for them? Oh, the antioxidants will interfere with the free radicals that we are creating and yada, yada. Okay, I got it. But you know... There is a way to do this judiciously so that you can help support the patient through their treatment protocols and keep the patient in shape to finish their protocol. Do you know what the most, the thing that upsets me most is when someone comes to us who they're so far along in their cancer treatment protocol that they're in chemotherapy and the chemotherapy and or the treatment therapy, maybe immune therapy, has already disintegrated their entire immune system and they have no muscle mass, they have nothing, they just really, it's a terrible, terrible thing. And when I look at that, I feel so disempowered because we can't help a patient who's so far gone. We can help you to a point. But boy, would I have liked to got in that case a little earlier. You got a lot to catch up on is what you're saying. Exactly, exactly. And it can be done. But I will tell you, it's rough. That's what I was going to say. You you have more to do, and you have a, a steeper hill to climb. Exactly. And you know what I find most upsetting is that most people who have cancer really don't die from the cancer. They die from the chemo. They die from the treatments. Right, exactly. exactly. Uh, real quick, you were telling me that there is pending legislation yes. to oh. ban glutathione. Yes, very Why? important. I have no idea except the only thing I can think about is Big Pharma and our uh, Big Pharma and who who really runs NIH and all of that. Bottom line folks, please 
go to the Alliance for Natural Health. There's a button there. Many of my patients have already uh, subscribed to this. It is a free thing to join. They will fill out a form. You give them your zip code and everything. They'll tell you who your uh, legislator is. And we really have to band together because we're finding it's more and more difficult to get nutraceuticals that are are really uh, should be readily available and i really believe a lot of this is a result of how many pharmaceutical companies are buying up the nutraceutical uh standalone companies so what's happening is we're getting more adulterated type of nutraceuticals out there now granted that's one of the reasons why i'm so fussy about powders and things that come to us i have compounding pharmacists that i use And uh, we've created certain types of nutraceutical that we want to deliver. I'm a firm believer in what? Natural, meaning God's ingredients. You know that, John. Please, everybody get out there and start looking at that. What was that again? It's the Alliance Alliance for Natural Health. Please, everyone get out there. And by the way, I'm, I'm a member. I'm not on the board or anything like that. I just know this is a good company. They do most lobbying for us who use natural products. And with that, we will put the wraps on another edition of Health Watch. Don't forget, operator standing by right now at Innovative Medical Associates at 856-489-0505, 856-489-0505. That's the number. They'll be there well after we leave you at 9 o'clock. You want to call them now. You want to call them this afternoon or tomorrow during the week, 856 856- Four eight nine zero five zero five, and don't forget you missed any of today's show. Our Health Watch replay coming up this afternoon, four until five here on Talk Radio twelve ten, WPHT. For Dr. Molly Fantasia and everyone at Innovative Medical Associates, the lovely Linda, Barbara, delightful D, fabulous Fran, Joanne, and our nurses Jess and Lana, and our medical assistant Karen and Kathy. I'm John DeMassey. Thank you for listening. Have yourself a great week and a healthy one. We'll do it all over again next Sunday. Health Watch, 8 till 9. Talk Radio 1210, WPHT. You take care. presents the views of WPHT or its management.